So the next few examples of proxy using proxy data to understand what the climate was like in the past aren't so obscure. So for instance, you probably know that um, a tree will add a ring each year. So I mean, we can when we cut down a tree, we can look at the tree rings to get a sense for the growing conditions of the tree for that particular year. So for instance, we can see if it um, had a nice healthy year with uh, sufficient with ample um, sunlight and water or if those ingredients were scar scarce. And also if we, we can do a little bit of chemistry on it to understand even more of the details of the growing conditions of that tree. Um, we can use, uh, well, first off, vegetation is an indication of what the climate is like for a given year. Vegetation will respond to, um, for instance, temperature. Vegetation responds to solar, uh, incoming solar radiation. It also responds to amount of precipitation. So like the slide says, if you um, kind of imagine uh, living uh, near a bog, it's, it's, it's potential for, um, for basically year after year, some sort of bog sort of situation or some sort of fluid can go ahead and collect a record year after year um, in the form of like uh, sediments. And so we can go ahead and um, then go get, get a core sample of this and understand historically what that region has been like. So for instance, biologists would know, uh, can relate or link back a certain type of plant to a certain um, climate. So that makes sense. The other thing that we can do in this sort of kind of sediment situation is we can get the, uh, go, go back in time and actually using carbon dating, understand clear back to, we can date those core samples clear back to about as old as 50,000 years. So these are just some, they look like they posed, didn't they? These are a variety of pollen grains. So, you know, if again, if you're a biologist and you understand, you can link these pollen grains to a particular plant, then you know that plant needs a certain climate. And then you proxy, you've used proxy data to understand the climate at that given time.